If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today what I have for you is some information regarding tomorrow's golden ticket, and you see it on your screen, guys. It is going to be golden ticket Tim Tebow. This comes directly from the EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team account on Twitter, so this is verified information. Tebow is going to be the card tomorrow. Pretty cool card art, signature card. I actually really like this one, uh, but what I'm going to say, guys, is that I do not like the attributes on this card all the that much. Now, what I will say, obviously, is that this is a great card, and if I had it on my team, it would easily be the best quarterback that I've had all year. No questions asked. Of course it would be. But the problem that I have with this card is that I don't think it matches up very well to any of the other golden tickets that have come out this year. So, uh, you know, we're going to talk about that in just a moment here. The other thing, guys, at the end of this video, I'm going to also talk a little bit about uh, some of the other things that were potentially released today uh, within the actual, uh, within a live stream today where the offensive lineman Kyle Long was actually on Twitch doing a live stream of Madden 16 and Mutt Guru actually went into that live stream and apparently dropped some information. So um, and one of the things that he mentioned earlier in the day was that the golden ticket was going to be somebody who all he does is win, which if you've ever seen the the uh, online meme or the, the song, obviously you know that's about Tim Tebow and then this information came out. So uh, yeah, that was definitely verified. So uh, we'll talk about that in a few moments here. But first of all, I want to talk a little bit about these attributes. You see them on your screen, six foot three, 92 speed, 90 awareness, 97 throw power, 95 throw accuracy short, 86 throw accuracy mid, 92 throw accuracy deep, 99 play action, and 97 throw on the run. So what I want to do is actually compare real quickly this card to all of the other golden ticket quarterbacks. I think that I've got all of them anyway. I might be missing somebody, but I'm pretty sure I've got all of them in today's video. So we're just going to pop the cards up onto the screen and we're going to directly compare the attributes that are just on the back of the cards. And the first one that we're actually going to start off with is potentially the best one of the bunch. And that is golden ticket Tom Brady. Now, obviously Brady is not quite as quick as Tebow. I'm assuming we don't see the acceleration. I'm assuming Tebow is going to have great acceleration acceleration as well, but in every other attribute, pretty much, uh, Tom Brady's as good or better. Um, he he is a little bit lower in play action and in throw on the run, and that's what you're going to see. I think that this Tebow card is the highest of any of the cards that have come out so far, I believe, in, in both play action and in throw on the run. So that's definitely something that he has a little bit of an advantage on, I guess, but the problem is, is that his throw power is good, but it's not anywhere near as good as Brady's, but his throw accuracy attributes are awful. I mean, quite frankly, 86 throw accuracy mid is something that you would expect out of like maybe a campus hero card, not a card that you would spend a million coins on, not a golden ticket, certainly. And when you look at Brady, he's above a 100 in every single throwing attribute that he has, his throw power, throw accuracy short, throw accuracy mid, and his throw accuracy deep. And he pretty much murders Tebow in everything. He's seven higher in throw accuracy short. He's 18 higher in throw accuracy mid, and he's nine higher in throw accuracy accuracy deep combined with the fact that he has six higher in throw power like it's not even close to be completely honest with you the other thing that I think we need to keep in mind is that Tebow is a left-handed quarterback so for a lot of people that is a big problem not to mention the fact that you know if you consider the fact that he's just not as good in the other attributes so like uh you know keep that in mind of course when you're when you're comparing Tebow to these other cards the left-handed quarterback situation is definitely a potential problem here uh so you know certainly keep that in mind next card on the list that I want to take a look at here is uh golden ticket Tony Romo now Tony Romo has a, a lot of similar attributes to the Tom Brady but he's a little bit lower in just about everything basically uh he's actually I think one speed higher so he's a little bit quicker awareness they're about the same these two cards are about the same in awareness um but he is a little bit lower of course in speed in the throw accuracy attributes though again he kills tebow in just about everything he's three higher in throw accurate throw power he's in three higher in throw accuracy short and he's nine or 11 higher excuse me in throw accuracy mid along with seven higher in throw accuracy deep now, his play action isn't quite as high, of course. Again, he's nine lower. And then in throw accuracy on the run, he is a 93 versus a 97, so four lower. But, I mean, again, even Tony Romo, who is one of the cheaper, one of these golden ticket cards, I mean, he is 
way better than Depot at throwing the ball. Like, that is just a crazy, crazy difference, in my opinion. I mean, we're not talking about, like, one or two here or there. We're talking about, like, seven, eight, nine in these attributes. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you. So the next one that I want to take a look at here is Derek Carr. Now, uh, Derek Carr is one that I, I think a lot of people would expect to be a little bit closer to Tebow than uh, Romo and Brady because he is a little bit more mobile, and he is a little bit uh, – he does still have good throwing uh, attributes, though. Uh, so – this one, though, pretty much kills Tebow in everything. You look at the speed. He's three higher in speed, six higher in awareness, two higher in throw accuracy or throw power, three higher in throw accuracy short, uh, a 13 higher in throw accuracy mid. That's just ridiculously different. Um, four higher in throw accuracy deep. And then again, he's a little bit lower in throw accuracy on the run and play action. But I don't think those things make up for the fact that he's just so much better at just purely throwing the ball and he's faster. And he's right-handed again. So, like, just, just thing after thing after thing. And we're looking at golden ticket after golden ticket quarterback that is just not even remotely close. So, I don't know what the hell the person that made this card. I mean, I guess it, it, the reality is the person that made this card did upgrade all of these attributes that we're looking at, as far as I know. But, like, they're just not coming up as being that much better than any of the other golden tickets. And it's really disappointing, to be honest with you. Now we're going to see the golden ticket Russell Wilson, which is a little bit more mobile than Derek Carr. Uh, he does also have 100 throw power. So again, five higher in speed, lower awareness, oddly enough. But I don't really think that matters that much considering you're the one who user controls the quarterback. So the awareness isn't really that important at all. Uh, throw power, though, again, three higher in throw power. Throw accuracy short, they're actually identical, so they're pretty close in that. But the throw accuracy mid, again, is a huge difference. We're talking about 11 difference here. That is just massive. Throw accuracy deep, four higher as well. Play action, he's a little bit lower. Um, he is six lower. But throw on the run, Russell Wilson is actually a 100 in throw on the run. So I guess I have to eat my words on saying Tebow is the highest in throw on the run. But yeah, Russell Wilson, 100 throw on the run. That is just like, he's higher in everything, basically other than play action I mean and awareness which again we talked about doesn't matter so like I just again he's worse in every single attribute that's like it's crazy to me moving on to golden ticket Cam Newton and Cam Newton again kind of kicks Tebow's ass and everything we're getting more and more mobile by the way with these quarterbacks we're basically going from the slowest quarterback up to the, the fastest quarterback so Cam Newton 98 speed 96 awareness, 99 throw power. Like, it, he's better again in everything. Uh, the throw accuracy short, they're pretty similar. In throw power, they're pretty similar. But you look at the throw accuracy mid, again, it's 12 higher. Throw accuracy deep, 3 higher. Play action, they're about the same. Uh, it, it's only a 4 difference. And then throw on the run, again, he is like Russell Wilson at a 100 for throw on the run. So, again, the only thing where Tebow's beating these guys like over and over again is play action. And he's not beating most of these guys by that many attribute points. So like, it's just, it, again, it's over and over and over again that we're seeing these cards where it's just not even close to be completely honest with you. Uh, the cards that have come out already, the golden tickets are so much better than Tebow. This is just a huge disappointment. And then last but not least, guys, we've got Johnny Manziel here, 98 speed again. Uh, very similar attributes to the Cam Newton in most things, but he has a 100 and 102, excuse me, throw on the run. So that's actually the highest of the bunch. So he's higher in that. But again, every single other attribute he's ahead of him in, it, it, other than awareness, which again, does not matter for quarterbacks. So 100 throw power, 98 throw accuracy shorts higher. He's eight higher in throw accuracy mid, and that's actually pretty low for a golden ticket, the 94, to be honest with you, but it's not anywhere near as low as the Tebow card being only an 86, and then throw accuracy deep, a 98, like, again, six higher. It's just like, it's over and over and over and over again that the Manziel card is just better than Tebow, so it's very, very disappointing to me that they've made Tebow this bad. And um, I'm just not a big fan of it. So uh, the last thing that I want to talk about today, guys, actually, uh, we're going to go back to the Tebow card here. But the uh, information that was leaked today within that Twitch stream that I was talking about actually has to do with this weekend's Ultimate Legends. So uh, Mutt Guru actually tweeted that there was going to be a, a potential new 
ultimate legend that has to do with the Tennessee Titans. Now, they also say he also said that this is a card who is an all new legend that has never before been seen in Madden Ultimate Team. So, again, Tennessee Titans player, and he's never been an Ultimate Team specifically. So, what I'm thinking is it could basically be one of only a few players. Number one, it can't be Eddie George because he's already been in the game. He was in, I think, Madden 12 or Madden 13, I forget. But he was already in the game, so it's not going to be him. Uh, And it's not going to be any guys who are currently on the roster because I don't think any of those guys are worthy of being an ultimate legend at this point. So we know that. But it could really only be a couple of other guys because, honestly, the Titans don't really have a whole lot of big time legends. Oh, another player that it can't be is Keith Bullock, by the way, who I believe is one of the most underrated players of that generation. I think he's an amazing player. He was an amazing player uh, and very, very underrated, but uh, it can't be him because he was actually in again, I think Madden 12 or Madden 13, maybe 10 or 11. I don't know. He was in one of those years though. Ryan 915 was telling me and he's, he's a big Titans homer. So he knows his stuff when it comes to that. But uh, it's probably in my opinion, going to be one of these players. Number one, it could be Steve McNair. Now, if it's Steve McNair, I think you're going to see some hype because people love Steve McNair, passed away too early in his life. And, uh, you know, he was one of those guys who won an MVP, never won a Super Bowl, but he was an absolute beast and he was an elite player for a long, long time. Just about everybody would have said that he was one of the best players of that generation. Or it could be another guy that he actually threw the ball threw the ball to, and that's Derek Mason. And Derek Mason made a great career in Tennessee. He was a great receiver. I don't know that he's quite ultimate legend status. But then again, some of the other guys that have come out and been ultimate legends, your Herman Moores, I don't necessarily think that I would consider them to be ultimate legends either. Brian Finneran, another one, for example. Although I don't think Finneran actually has an ultimate legend card this year, or at least not yet. Uh, so, you know, that maybe that's a little bit different. But he definitely had one in previous years. So... Again, though, uh, Derek Mason's a possibility, but the one that I actually think that it's probably going to be is Javon Curse. Now, if you guys don't know Javon Curse, da freak, he was an amazing player back in the day. I think Javon Curse might be uh, the the guy, and I would absolutely love to see a Javon Curse card in Madden Ultimate Team. That would be one that I would definitely have to pull packs for because Javon Curse was an absolute animal, guys. This guy was so quick. I don't know what I would compare him to. He was like the... Uh, the Von Miller of his day, the J.J., well, maybe not J.J. Watt level, but, like, definitely an amazing pass rusher, just a freaking beast, and he was just one of those physical freak type of guys that it would be a lot of fun to play Ultimate Team with, and I'm sure that they would make, like, a speed version of him that would have, like, 100 speed, so that would be a lot of fun to play with as well. So, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you learned something, and I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Do you think that the person that made this card screwed up or did did EA just not upgrade Tebow enough to be a good golden ticket? Because I don't think there's anybody that could make the case that this is even remotely close to being, uh, it's definitely the worst golden ticket quarterback card. I don't think anybody could debate that. So again, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Hopefully I'll hear from you guys soon. Talk to me in the comment section. Uh, again, I'll probably be chatting it up with you guys there. Thanks again, guys. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.